Are you looking for a way to gain clarity about who you are and how you fit and interact with the world? The Enneagram test is just for you. With philosophical and mystic roots blended with science, it's a popular typology that assigns everyone a personality type. The American Journal of Psychiatry defines the system as a personality theory describing nine strategies by which the psyche develops a worldview and relates to self and others. Ian Morgan Cron, a psychotherapist and Enneagram teacher explains, we adopt these in childhood as a way to cope, protect ourselves and navigate the new world of relationships in which we find ourselves. The Enneagram is unique because it maps your psyche by breaking down personalities in terms of motivations, your basic fears, and even your most suited career. Here are the nine types of Enneagram. Type one, idealist. You interact with the world by striving to be perfect. Also known as the reformers, you seek moralistic behavior and reform. You're naturally positive with a heart for helping others. You go by the book and make sure that you're always doing the right thing. As a result, it's difficult for you to delegate or take risks. Type two, caregiver. Diana Redmond, a practicing Enneagram teacher and coach says, a two's focus is to take care of others' needs in an effort to feel loved and accepted. As emotional thinkers and hard workers, you are extremely attentive to helping other people in any way you can. This desire to be fully loved and accepted comes from your fear of being unwanted or unloved by those around you. A two may believe consciously or subconsciously that love is only gained and earned by serving others. Type three, performer. The Enneagram official site calls them the achiever. If you're a three, this shows you're driven by success and a desire to look as good as possible to others. You seek accomplishment and admiration by setting big goals and doing what it takes to succeed in order to earn validation. This helps mask your basic fear of being regarded as a failure or worthless. According to Redmond, your goal is to be perceived as successful in the eyes of others. Type four, creative. Redmond says, people who get type four are artistic with an eye for beauty. Fours are sensitive souls with a passion for various art forms, and so you make great writers, designers, actors, and artists. The basic desire of the type four is to build an individual and authentic identity and to express it in the world. Fours may feel misunderstood if others fail to recognize their unique identifying traits. Type five, thinker. Type fives have earned a reputation as the absent-minded professor. They're excellent deep thinkers and make great engineers, scientists, and scholars. If you get a type five, you're introspective and thoughtful. The most basic desire of the Enneagram type five is to feel helpful and competent. So you passionately pursue knowledge and gain new skills. Fives often prioritize developing their own intellect over most other things in life. You guard against your basic fear of being incompetent by withdrawing emotionally and physically from others. This may make you feel safer, but can also lead to loneliness. Type six, loyalist. Type sixes perform well as bankers, professors, nurses, and consultants. According to the Enneagram Institute website, the most basic desire of the type six is to feel secure, which you seek through loyalty to others. The basic fear of the type six is losing personal support and stability. You crave predictable, safe environments. Sixes tend to have an expect the worst, hope for the best mentality. Type seven, adventurer. Here we have our upbeat travel agents, designers, and diehard photography fans. As type sevens, you wanna live life to the fullest and experience all the world has to offer. You desire to feel stimulated and engaged. You go to great lengths to seek excitement and joy from new experiences. FOMO causes you to avoid schedules and concrete planning to allow for last minute opportunities. You appreciate a positive, open-minded attitude and out of the box ideas. Type eight, protector. Think lawyers, directors, or sales experts. Type eights are confident, attention-commanding leaders, skilled in quick, effective decision-making. Your need to have control of your own fate stems from your desire to protect and defend yourself as well as others from injustice. However, at times, their need for control can be overwhelming, says Redmond. Your subconscious belief that vulnerability equals weakness makes you avoid it at all costs. This is because your greatest fear lies in being controlled or hurt by others. And type nine, peacekeeper. Do you seek to avoid conflict at all costs? Type nines seek to feel safe, comfortable, and at peace with themselves. They're adaptable and agreeable teammates dedicated to considering multiple perspectives. Internal peace is the most basic desire of the Enneagram type nine. The basic fear of the type nine is that you may lose or be separated from others.
You prevent this by remaining peaceful and avoiding conflict, potentially adapting to others' preferences rather than stating your own. By understanding your type, you can let go of habitual patterns that hold you back and open up to your own inherent gifts. Have you taken the Enneagram test? What number did you get? Let us know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with loved ones. Until next time, take care and we'll see you soon.